What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Remember the Game Retro Let's Plays. My name is Adam Blank. Thank you so much for uh, watching. I assume coming back. I don't know why anyone would watch number two without watching number one. Uh, we're playing Super Mario World, the greatest video game of all time. And obviously, as you can see by the screen, we are into Donut Plains. And uh, let's go get ourselves a cape and start having some fun. This is where the game opens up. If you're like, how the fuck did you get through Dinosaur Island? I think is what it was called. Uh, without a Yoshi... Uh, go back and watch the first episode and you'll realize like holy cow this guy sucks pretty hard at playing video games while he tries to talk into a microphone and I'll be like yeah I sure do oh my god dude oh god yeah let me have it I swear to god I'm good at this game cape is the greatest item ever isn't it I, uh, I don't care. Like, to me, like, I remember as a kid not being able to kind of figure out how it worked. Um, I couldn't get a good grasp of how to, like, you know, when you can do the, like, bounce up, bounce down, and slam to the ground and stuff like that. I never really got a feel for it. I just used it to float down and, uh, swing it at people. Like, and now, like, I mean, <laughs> you're not going to believe me. Holy fuck. Man, you want to... Uh, you want to make your favorite video game more challenging? Play it online for a Let's Play. And uh, it cranks up the difficulty by about 20. For some weird reason. This is one of, one of the only video games I can play high. But I can't play it while well, you guys are... Why I have strangers potentially watching and listening to me. See, like this. I could never get him to do this as a kid. Now it's just the best. Probably the most overpowered item in gaming history, or Mario history. And that's coming from a, you know, and that's a game where y there's a, a star that literally makes you invincible. Boom. Good stuff. All right. I don't usually go after all of those extra, like, pipes and one-ups and stuff, because honestly, this isn't the hardest game in the world. I, I don't, <laughs> uh, despite how I've played so far, it's not the hardest game in the world. I don't really, oh, shit think you need all the one-ups like half the time i just want to i just i run through it i don't quite speed run i don't understand like i mean i i i will say i don't understand the speed run community because i think it's pretty rad uh what they're capable of doing oh that was stupid too i just lost my extra cape um i just like to me it feels like you're breaking the game right which i guess is kind of what they are doing and that's kind of what they want to do but i'm like like where's the fun in that i want to play through the game you know I watched a Let's Play or a speed run. Um, oh my God! Focus, Adam. <laughs> Almost! Come on! Oh, boom! Suck on that, all you fucking haters! Look at—I don't even know if I have any haters. I don't know if anyone's even watched this. As I'm sitting here going on about how you don't need any lives, there's a ton of lives. Uh. I watched a speed run, that's what I was going to talk about, of uh, a dude playing Earthbound, and it was incredible watching him, but it, like, it almost ruined Earthbound for me as a Earthbound fanatic, because I was like, well, like, I'm seeing all the ways that you can kind of cheap out and beat it, and it's like, I don't know, I just don't, I mean, I, I certainly understand the art of it, for lack of a better term, but uh, I just don't understand the appeal of it. As I say that, uh, I'm about to complain about how goddamn slow this level is. These levels are just annoying. Especially after you've played it once or twice and you know like where you can go and get caught and where you're not going to get caught and stuff like that. Um, like, fuck. Fuck me. How on earth can you make this entertaining for somebody to watch? There. I <laughs> how on earth can you make this entertaining? Well, you could... Almost die, lose your Yoshi, and suck at Mario. That's one way to fucking make it entertaining, I guess. I don't remember what pipe it is. I hope it's not that one. I don't think it is. I think it's this one up here. Oh my god, don't tell me it was that pipe. No, I think it's this one. Yeah, I haven't played this in a while. There we go. Take that guy. What a perfect game. Even as a kid, I remember, like, little touches like the echo of the cave, you know? I don't know if you guys... I'll sh I should shut the fuck up. 
so you guys can hear it. It's just those little touches, you know? Um, it boggles my mind that all these years later, like, I would argue they still haven't made a game as good as this. Let's go get this. We can do a save, but I won't wrap it up quite yet, though. Uh, I already mentioned it in my first... Fuck. Whatever. I already mentioned it in my first video. Uh, you guys, I'll mention it probably every time I do one of these Let's Plays. Uh, this isn't a safe space, you know? I know a lot of people talk about all the negativity on the in the world, on the internet, and stuff like that. They're not wrong, but uh, I think it's funny. I'm a stand-up comic. I get heckled on stage all the time. So if you guys want to go in the comments and let me have it and give me shit for not being good at a video game, you go right ahead. If you think... Let's keep this thing going. If you think you can uh, hurt my feelings, you give it a shot and let's see how that fucking goes. Um, we are trying to do 100% run of this game. Holy oh, fuck. We are trying to do 100% run of this game, which if you do not know, is a perfect... <laughs> is a perfect 96. Uh, we're off to a great start. I've lost about eight Yoshis. And, uh, oh my god. And I just died. I died. In, I'm not bad at this game. Oh my god. I'm never going to let my girlfriend see this because, I mean, she would never watch it anyway. But this is one of the only games that she'll play with me. And I like to give her a hard time about how she's not very good. And uh, if she saw this, she would be like, you fucking suck. Uh, we are going for a perfect run. That's, where I, that's all I was trying to say. And, uh... And part of getting a, a perfect run on this game is, well, not part of it. A perfect run in this game is 96. And uh, many, many times I've played through this game with the intention of putting up a perfect score 96, finished the game at like 94, 95, and just not been able to figure out what I missed. Because sometimes it's not obvious, you know? Like, sometimes it is. And it's things like, uh, you know, there's one missing path somewhere or something that you haven't gotten yet. But, uh, but sometimes it's not, because sometimes these extra... Yeah. Sometimes these extra paths don't, uh, like the extra exits don't actually open up anything different really, right? And it's so easy to just be like, did I miss one of those? And you don't want to go back and replay everything. So the point I'm trying to make, I always loved these sleeping fish as a kid. My brother and I used to play where you just try to be sneaky and not wake them up. And then when you did, you do the stupid voice of the angry fish chasing you. I don't hate swimming levels. I just wish they were a little faster. Such a fry some fish. <laughs> Mario's kind of a dick, eh? Like, these these guys aren't hurting anything. They're literally just hanging out. Like, that guy's sleeping, for fuck's sakes. And I'm like, no, it's, uh, he's not coming home tonight, kids. Daddy's sleeping on the job, and now he is a coin. That was stupid. I rather my cape. I can't remember where the coin, or the fucking, ah, uh, no, I can't remember where it is. No! God damn it. Oh! oh. Alright, well, I guess I'll get the regular exit first. Point I was going to make is you want to get... Uh, I personally now, when I try to do a perfect run of this game, uh, try to get everything as I go. I don't even remember if that was where the... I don't even think that was where the fucking key was. I think the key is up here. Under a pow, actually, now that I think about it. Um... A little faster. Fuck right off. I never even saw him. Dude, oh no, and I wasn't supposed to hit that yet. And I got hit again. Oh, oh god. <laughs> I'm not deleting this. I was pretty tempted to just delete this and be like, nah, you know what? I'll start over and I'll make this good. Because people don't want to. Like, I'm, I'm legitimately curious if you're watching this. Do people want to watch a Let's Play of somebody suck at video games? Or do you want to watch, like, good gamers? Because honestly, part of my hesitation to launch this is, like, I love playing video games. And, you know, I'm, I'm realistically not nearly as bad at this game as uh, the last 15 minutes or so have, so have shown. I'm not even... I, but, um... I'm not even going back up there, because I remember now it's not even where the key is. I don't care. I was just trying to get away from that fish. Anyway, uh, as you can see, like, I think I have a touch of ADD. I do the same thing when I'm telling jokes on stage as a comic. I'll be ranting about something, and then, uh, like, somebody will cough or something. And then before I know it, I'm talking about something entirely different. 
uh, as I've just done again. When people watch Let's Plays, like, would you rather watch someone that's really good just go in and kill a game? Or do you kind of want to, like, is there something entertaining about watching somebody just suck? Because I, I don't know. I don't watch a ton of Let's Plays. But I would think that there's certainly some entertainment value in watching someone just be terrible at video games, right? Right? I guess we'll see by uh, how many people watch this thing. So yeah, don't miss exits. That's the point I was trying to make. Don't skip over... Uh, like don't I don't know I'm a big believer in that don't skip over exits and think like well I'll go back and get it later because then you hit the end of the game and you can't remember which one you missed and now you're just fucked and I've done that too many times and uh, I'm giving you guys enough ammo here to make fun of me I don't know what that even was I don't remember how to do this oh there we go I'm so used to having a cape right now this sucks Anyway, I sure hope. I mean, I guess we'll see. Like, if nobody watches these videos or if the first one gets a bunch of downloads and then, or a bunch of views and then nobody watches it after the first one, then I'll know. Like, oh no, people are not interested in watching a loudmouth suck at video games. I don't remember which exit goes where, but we might as well just get them all. There we go. So yeah, there we go. That was good, right? That was good gameplay. Super Mario World, man. It's about the best game ever. It's beautiful. Uh, I can't tell how long this thing has been. Okay, you know what? We'll go a little bit longer. I'll finish off this one. I'll get the star. Star Road entrance. And then, uh, and then I'll call it for an episode. That was dumb. Ghost with the tongues always made me laugh as a kid too. If you're if you're watching this, uh, and I, I know that like a lot of YouTube viewers, oh dude, I remember now. I'm just supposed to do this so I can use this to jump over him. Fuck me. Um, I'm legitimately curious. If you're watching this, if you grew up playing these games, what are your this game in particular? Uh, what are your favorite? Like, did you did you, did you love this one growing up? Like, as I I played this one. A trillion times growing up and I remember drawing the map over and over and over again I used to buy like the big sheets of Bristol board and just draw them and like I can't draw to save my life you think I suck at video games try watching me or we'll look at something I've drawn it's way worse oh yeah there we go but I remember this dude I can't remember his name now Matthew or Anthony this dude lived in my neighborhood when I was a kid he was a couple years older than me and uh, he was a big like video game geek and he was big into this game. I just trapped myself. And he uh, would play this game like crazy and would tell me all these secrets. And half of them weren't true. Do you remember that when you were a kid? People would tell you like untrue fucking secrets about video games. And you didn't have the internet to go look them up. So you just took them at their word. And then you'd get home and try to do whatever it is they told you you could do forever. Boom. And then find out it wasn't true. Good times. All right, well, that's going to do it. That'll do it for this episode. You guys have suffered enough for the day. It's the bottom half of uh, Donut Plains. And uh, tomorrow I'll get back up there to the top. Oh, yeah, I should go into the pipe and get rid of that world too. So I'm going to start tomorrow's episode. I'll drop into here and get rid of the that sneak peek into Bowser Valley that I thought is so cool as a kid. I didn't even know that existed for years playing this game as a kid. But that's tomorrow. This is today. Thank you so much for suffering through this retro Let's Play with me. Please subscribe to the channel if you don't think it sucks. If you do think it sucks, subscribe anyways just so you can come back every day and post and comment on my video about how much it sucks. And I will, uh, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. We'll play a little bit more Super Mario World. Thank you. Take it easy. If you can't get enough of that gooey old school video game goodness, then check out our retro gaming podcast, Remember the Game. Every Wednesday, me and a buddy will sit down and we geek out about a game we played back in the day. You know, before we had taxes, jobs, and marriages to crush our spirits. Just search for Remember the Game on your favorite podcast provider. Check it out right here on YouTube or visit our website, rememberthegamepodcast.com.